Shake Shack vs. In-N-Out, two of America's most popular fast food restaurants. And today, we are going to be comparing burgers, fries, and shakes from each location to see who has the better food. Let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? If you are new here, I'm Zach Steinmetz and welcome back to another video. And today we are on the fabulous Las Vegas Strip and with the help of my father, we are gonna be going to In-N-Out and Shake Shack to see which restaurant has the best food. We have arrived at our first location, wasting no time. In-N-Out, let's go get our food. Should I get a double-double? Um, I'll get animal-style fries and a small strawberry shake, please. And we have got our food guys and I am so excited to try this because this is the first time in five years that I will be having In-N-Out. I've only ever had it once before. That was in LA on the way to the airport, but we kind of rushed it and I didn't get the recommended. So it was okay. I mean, it was obviously it was good, but it wasn't like as good as everyone hypes it up to be. So this time I am going to be going with the double double burger as that is what everyone seems to be recommending. I've got animal style fries and a strawberry shake. And First thing I noticed when I got the in and out is the burger looks like something you'd see on a commercial. I'm actually so excited to try this. So we're gonna start ourselves off with the animal styled fries. Let's give her a go. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I think the sauce really does help because the fries are really basic. The plain fry itself is probably one of the worst fries I've ever had, if I'm gonna be quite honest. I would list McDonald's, Wendy's, Dairy Queen, Burger King, pretty much any other fry ahead of this one. So I really don't expect Shake Shack to lose on the fries. But if we're looking at specialty items, then yes, maybe this one will come out on top. But for fries alone, I'm gonna give in and out a solid four out of 10. And now on to what everyone wants to see, the double, double, burger itself which I have very very high expectations for because everyone loves it let's see if it lives up to the hype Truly does come as advertised. Well seasoned, there's a good proportion of beef in here with the lettuce, tomatoes, and the bun. For me, it's gonna be tough to beat this burger. I'm gonna give In-N-Out a nine out of 10 on the double-double. And our final item from In-N-Out, we have the strawberry shake. I'm a big ice cream and shake guy. I have a sweet tooth, so it's really gonna be hard to be bad. So let's give it a go. Wow, it's creamy, it's thick, and the strawberry is very rich, I find. I've had Shake Shack shakes before, and I've had some other shakes, and I find that they're not quite as strong, and I was expecting this one to be not so much, but this one really impresses me. I quite like this shake. I think the shake is the best part of the meal, if I'm gonna be quite honest. Not taking away from the burger or anything, because the burger is phenomenal. I just really like the shake that much, so I'm gonna give the shake a 9.5 out of 10. And for Shake Shock, we have got ourselves a strawberry milkshake, regular french fries instead of ones with topping on it, and of course, a single shack burger. And similar to In-N-Out, the burger looks absolutely picture perfect. This one, in fact, actually I think looks better. Like, look at the cheese coming out of this thing. And what I like about it as well is they put it in a nice little wrapper, which keeps the juices inside, because a lot of the time when you're eating a burger, it gets super messy. And the nice part about both of these restaurants is they have this wrapper, so you don't have to worry about it. You can just enjoy, and you get a 
full flavor in every single bite you take. So we're gonna start this one off with the fries, similar to last time, with a little bit of ketchup. Yeah, very good. French fries from Shake Shack, similar to how I remember them. I have this pretty much every night of our trip so far, so I expected them to be good. I know they're good. Nothing fancy about them. There are fast food places that I think have better fries, but overall, I'm gonna give the fries a solid seven out of 10. And now on to the beautiful Shack Burger. The picture perfect, magazine looking. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. This burger, guys. This burger fulfills everything you want in a fast food burger. The cheese is perfectly melted and cheesy. The beef has a perfect mixture of fat and juice. The lettuce and tomatoes is fresh. The shack sauce can't be beat. And the bun is nicely toasted. Mm. If you guys have never had a burger from Shake Shack, it's a must, you must try it. So for the ranking of the burger at Shake Shack, I'm gonna give this one a better score than In-N-Out, and I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 fast food burger. Yes, once again, that is for fast food restaurants only, so that doesn't include places like Gordon Ramsay Burger, which I've ate at in the past and stuff. This is just for fast food restaurants, same goes for In-N-Out. I personally don't think this can be beat for a fast food style restaurant. And last, but certainly not least, the dessert. Shake Shack, it's in the name, Shake, so it must be good, right? Strawberry Shake, just like at In-N-Out, and I had my meal literally an hour and a half ago at In-N-Out, so I am feeling a bit full, so these rankings being high really says something, because usually when you're full, food doesn't taste quite as good as when you're hungry, and I was really hungry when I had the In-N-Out, so let's give it a go. I don't even know what to say anymore. Shake Shack, that's it. I'm gonna be quite honest, the flavor is not quite as strong in the shake as it was as in and out but I feel like this one's smoother, if that makes any sense. Like, I feel like it just goes down the throat easier. I don't even know if that's a thing or if that's just a me thing, but overall, I do think that in and out has slightly better shakes. So I'm gonna give Shake Shack a nine out of 10 on the shakes. Again, top notch though. Either way, you can't go wrong at either of the places. And that wraps up my review of Shake Shack and in and out Just made it back to the hotel and I just wanted to wrap this up with a couple conclusions Including thoughts. First of all, Shake Shack and In-N-Out, both fantastic restaurants, as you know. You can't go wrong either way. So don't take one winning over another to be a bad thing because that's not a bad thing to the other restaurant at all. They're both phenomenal. And I absolutely love the city in Las Vegas. It is so beautiful here. And I love just walking outdoors here at night, whether it be in the resort or on the strip. It's so beautiful and tons of great restaurants around here. However, even though Shake Shack won two out of the three, there were some big positives to In-N-Out that you have to consider as well and that is the price because in and out is actually much cheaper than Shake Shack. For my burger, fries, and shake, I probably spent about 25 bucks, I think it was, at Shake Shack. And at In-N-Out, that same thing probably would have cost me like 15. So that is something to consider as well. But regardless, both of them are great quality foods. So and that is gonna be it for today, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big old thumbs up and smash that subscribe button if you're new. And make sure to follow me on all my social medias, all links are in the description, and always make Make sure to enjoy life and that's gonna be it thank you guys for watching take it easy guys peace